Dan, uh, the Cardinals have already had uh, more than their share of uh, injuries, and it is just the opener today. I'm with John Mazalak. John, so what's going on with Tommy Pham? Well, he was removed for the game for precautionary reasons, but he felt some tightness uh, on his left side in the oblique area. <laughs> he noticed it during batting practice today, tried to go with it, but unfortunately uh, had to be removed. That's going to be a double off the wall. You guys have had more than your share of injuries to this point. The news on uh, Jordan Walden, who pitched so well in limited time during spring training, it's a little more serious than you guys suspected, right? Well, I think all of our offseason planning was, was centered around him not being able to pitch. And so when you looked at how well he was throwing, in spring training there was that, that level of hope that maybe he could do it but unfortunately uh, that's not the case. Tejada the shortstop you brought in uh, to replace Johnny Peralta who was injured what's what's the status of Tejada right now. You know I don't I don't think he's that severe but I also don't think he could play this week and so we couldn't go short. So ultimately uh, we'll send him down to Jupiter let him rehab but hopefully he's on the uh, 15 day for just that. And the latest on uh, Brian Pena, who has a knee issue. Yeah, and that was unfortunate. Uh, about a week and a half ago, he, he slipped down a set of stairs uh, up in uh, Melbourne when we were playing the Nationals. And, you know, unfortunately, something happened that day to his knee, and, and now he has some loose bodies, and therefore those will have to be removed, and, and he'll likely do that on Tuesday. Boy, the uh, injuries are, are coming in bunches for you guys. Matt Holliday started. Uh, at first base he's not there right now obviously going into spring training it was a bit of a project and he did enough to uh, make you guys believe uh, at least there's a comfort level at first for Matt. Well that's right and, and I think anybody that got to watch him play throughout the spring realized that he felt pretty good over there and, and obviously the manager and his staff felt confidence in, in allowing him to do that but you know he deserves a lot of credit for that because we did try to keep this under the radar. He um, he worked with his father and Jose Okendo all off season and, and he prepared himself to give him a shot and it looked like it worked. Well, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. All right, thanks, Jim. All right.